Six, we begin with a local 10 news exclusive suspected criminals arrested only to be let out right away. We're talking about no bail and no time in jail. Let's get right to local 10's Andrew Perez live in Fort Lauderdale with our top story. Andrew. So bond reform is a hot button issue all across the country right now. It's supposed to make things more fair, but critics say it's really just one big experiment. A major shift in our criminal justice system. Less people arrested in Broward will have to wait to see a judge. Holding people in custody on low-level offenses um, is just not the way to run a criminal justice system. It's an administrative order issued by Chief Judge Jack Tudor. Now, most people booked on nonviolent third-degree felony and misdemeanor charges will be released from jail and told when to show up for court without seeing a judge or paying a bond. Chief Judge Tudor says it wasn't fair that just because you had money, you were able to get out. And I saw a great disparity between especially minority communities who did not have the money to post a convenience bond and often had to sit in jail on low level, uh, non-public safety type crimes. It's playing tag. He's making police officers play tag with criminals. No surprise, bail bondsmen are angry. This order clearly affects business and they say removes accountability. Criminal defense attorney Eric Schwartzreich says deputies can still decide if someone facing these types of charges, like grand theft and possession, should see a judge anyways before leaving the jail. It's all up to the jail now. It's up to the jailer to take a look and to see if someone's on probation, if someone has a warrant. That can be missed. Broward's public defender says it was time for a change. The previous system was greatly weighted in favor of the moneyed, and its impact was inadvertently punitive towards the poor, who could not afford even a minimum bond. This new order, it was a big collaborative effort. The Broward Sheriff, the State Attorney's Office, the Public Defender's Office here in Broward, they all had to sign off on this. After a year, they're going to reassess and they're going to also tweak it as they go. Miami-Dade County, by the way, has a very different bond schedule. This latest here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. It is a controversial topic. Thanks a lot, Andrew. And we can